I love you. Bye. Here's your coffee. Ah! Ah! Oh. 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 What's the matter? Not enough cream? What is the matter with you? It just gets better and better. Oh, that was really smart, Chester. It was really smart to make a call like that from your office when I can sit outside and listen to it. I mean, you are really smart. Is that it? Is that what you're carrying on about? Don't bother, Chester. Don't bother telling me you were talking about the stock market when you said it gets better and better. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I was talking about. To Pigeon? Pigeon Chester. Who? Walter Pigeon? <laughs> okay, Claire, you caught me. I did it. I, uh, spent the night with another woman. Do you know how long I've been your secretary, Chester? Since I was 18. And since I was 19, you've been telling me you'll leave your wife. Well, now I'm 30, Chester. <laughs> Three weeks ago, I was 30 years old. It's all right, I sent myself flowers and signed your name. 30 years old, and I'm still waiting for you to leave your wife. Once. I cheated once. You cheated once. That's right. With this... Pigeon person? Right. Tell me, do you call her pigeon because she coos or because she's a carrier of filth? Oh, play. <laughs> you know, Chester, I'd known about pigeon for weeks. And before that, I knew about the blonde in securities, the redheaded switchboard operator, the brunette in payroll. I... <laughs> I've watched you work your way up through half this building, Chester. I never knew if you were doing it by floor or hair color. Uh, that's enough, Claire. I've had it. I have had it. Do you know what you've turned into? You have turned into a wife. You're fired, Claire. I'm fired? That's right, you're fired. Oh, no, I'm not fired, Chester. Yes, you are. I have the boss and I have fired you. Wrong, Chester. <laughs> I am now the boss. <laughs> You see, you fire me and I tell Jessica everything. Fine, tell Jessica. She'll never believe you. And then maybe I'll call the SEC and tell them what you did with the Whitney Trust Fund. They'll believe you. <laughs> so, Chester, now let's talk about us and where we'll take our vacation and how much of a raise I'm going to get. Oh, I do need a raise, Chester. My apartment is much too small. On the other hand, maybe I shouldn't rent a bigger one. Maybe we should buy me a condominium. But your tax advantages will be substantial. And with my expensive tastes, you're going to need all the help you can get. Yo. Chester, Chester, what's the matter with you? You're a nervous wreck. Of course I'm nervous, Claire. I told you I didn't want to come here. I canceled a very important business lunch to come here today. Do you know how embarrassing it would be if the man I was to have had lunch with walked in? And who are you supposed to have lunch with? Matt Sloan. Really? How brave of him to join you for lunch the day after open heart surgery? I mean, to come here wired up to all those machines? What are you talking about, Claire? Matt Sloan. Matt Sloan? I said Marty Sims. How could I have lunch with Matt Sloan? He's in intensive care, for God's sake. <laughs> Do you think Mount Sinai let you out of intensive care for a lunch hour? <laughs> Marty Sims. Right. Well, it must have been very important. I mean, since Marty Sims is vacationing in the south of France, this must have been some important lunch. That's right. That's precisely how important it was. Marty Sims was going to hop on the Concorde to get here in time. That crazy Marty. <laughs> Chester, I've been your secretary for 12 years. You can't lie to me. You were going to have lunch with Pigeon. Pigeon? Oh, Claire, how many times do I have to tell you Pigeon and I are through? Save it, Chester. I swear it, Claire, I swear it. Chester, it's been 12 years I've been doing things for you. From now on... You're going to be doing things for me. The lovely condominium that you bought me was just the beginning. I need... Claire, I really can't afford... Chester, to what you really can't afford is an investigation by the Securities Exchange Commission. I mean, that's what you really can't afford, Chester. <laughs> Claire, Claire, Claire. <laughs> you little hothead, you. 
All of this is unnecessary. You know that. It's you, my sweet. It's always been you. It always will be you. Chester, you double-crossing, uh, dirty, uh, lying... Miss, uh, Teitelbaum, I was trying to reach you. You're stuck. A minor problem in her account. She's so short of her stock. I don't know what you're thinking, but... Now I know. Well, so much for pigeon. Now, Chester, there is one last thing I want you to do for me. What's that? Divorce Jessica. What are you talking about, Claire? You've been I saying can't... you're going to do it for 12 years. Now think about it, Chester. It's either me and a two-week honeymoon in the Bahamas, or Jessica and 10 to 20 in Attica. So, Chester, what do you say? What were the choices again? <laughs> Love. 11, 16, 21, carry the two. <laughs> I cannot afford all this, Claire. You are spending a fortune. Chester, you didn't answer my question. I asked you if you talked to Jessica. Well, of course I talk to Jessica. Every night when I go home, I talk to Jessica. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Claire? Do I talk to Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell Jessica that you're leaving her, Chester? What is this? Two thousand dollars for wallpaper for your apartment? Yes, Chester. What are you papering the walls in, Claire? Currency? <laughs> you know, Chester, there is a solution to all this. If you leave Jessica and move in with me, I'll be happier. And when I'm happier, I don't spend as much money. Well, I'm sorry, Claire. You'll just have to wait. Wait? That's right. Wait. Remember ten years ago, Chester? Remember when you said you couldn't leave because little Billy had a perception problem and if you left then he might write backwards for the rest of his life? <laughs> so I waited. And then that cleared up and Billy could read, but suddenly Eunice wouldn't get out of her bathrobe or leave her room and you couldn't leave then. So I waited. And then as soon as Eunice got dressed, Corinne stopped eating and had to be hospitalized, and you couldn't leave until she was keeping solids down. And so, I waited. Well, now, Billy reads, Eunice gets dressed, Corinne eats, and I'm still waiting. Well, that's it for waiting, Chester. You are going to leave Jessica now. You are going to go home and tell her that you're leaving, and if you don't, Chester, I will. <laughs> Fine, go. I'll do it, Chester, I swear. Fine, fine. Do you need directions to the house? I know where you live, Chester. Good. Well, goodbye, Claire. Say hello to Jessica for me. <laughs> Go to my house and tell Jessica. <laughs> Joyce, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's here? Glad to see you, Mr. Tate. Nice to have you home early. Let me take that from you. All right, Benson. You're being too nice. What's going on? It's a surprise. <laughs> Let me fix you a drink. Benson, how many times do I have to tell you I am on a diet? I don't want a drink. You're going to want this one. <laughs> I said no. Where is Mrs. Tate? In the dining room. Why don't you... Pop in and say hello. Hello, Chester. I was just leaving. Well, nice seeing you, Mrs. Tate. I'm sorry it couldn't have been under more pleasant circumstances. <laughs> Together. Claire, Claire, Claire. You are so cute when you're mad. I'm serious, Chester. If you don't leave Jessica this week, I am going to the Securities Exchange Commission. There'll be no need to do that, my darling. No need at all. Why, Chester? Because I'll be leaving Jessica. When? Let me surprise you. Now, Mary, I mean, <laughs> if, if we didn't have unhappy experiences, how would we know when we were having happy ones? <laughs> oh, God. What, Mary? What? Uh, look at this plate, Jesse. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it beautiful? The pattern is so delicate. 
Mary, it's white. <laughs> uh, that's what I mean. Uh, the pattern is so delicate, you can't see it. <laughs> Jesse, don't look. <laughs>